Today we're going to assemble a 2 inch SB pulling tool and uh, I'll start now. So you take your skirt, put the bottom end facing up, you install your dog spring and your dog washer. I like to use a 5 8 open end wrench for compressing the spring and dog washer. You, know, you grab your dog, press your spring and insert the first dog. Take your next dog, insert it, compress your spring. Third dog usually goes in fairly easy, so you don't need to compress the spring. All the dogs are installed. You want to make sure that they're nice and flush with the outside, so when you install your core, it doesn't make them fall out. Put some grease on your threads, because you can't grease them after they're in there, as they're kept inside the housing. Install your core, let it drop down in there. Be careful when you're passing the dogs that you don't knock them out. Slide your core in. Then you want to align your shear pin hole on your core with the shear pin hole on the skirt so that you can put a punch in it to install your to install your core cap and core spring. Takes a little bit to get it all aligned. Then a quarter inch punch goes through the shear pin hole. A little bit of fire there. Slide right in there. Core spring. And your core nut goes in on top of that. There's going to be a little spring tension when you try to assemble that. It's a core cap wrench that we've designed for making it easy, installing easier. Compress your core spring and thread the core cap onto the core. Once that's started, you can install the skirt into a vise. And this 5 8 wrench also works on this core cap extra. Tighten that down, pressing the spring, which loads up the dogs. And you want to make sure that's good and snug. You don't need to over torque it, but good and snug so there's no chance it'll ever come undone while you're running in the well. Take it out there, install your spring or your shear pin cover, and your cork or your top side. Tighten on your top sub, using a crescent wrench. If you run it well, you can tighten it up tighter than that. For this purpose, I'll just snug it up. We always like to function test the tool after we build it. Uh, I like to function test mine without a fishnet in it at first to make sure that the dogs are going to release properly. So pull the punch out. Each inside and make sure all the dogs are retracted all the way and you can check it with the fish neck make sure that it's releasing properly and then we also like to check it with the, while it's pinned this is a, not a good cork out or core retracting wrench I have here but so, you want to turn your shear pin cover so you can see the shear pin hole. Line up your shear pin hole in the core with the skirt. Make sure they're all aligned properly. Brass pin. Install the core. to make sure it's in all the way. Latch your fish tank, make sure it works. Then we 
forever. Releasing tool. I should have in the first place a releasing tool to release your dogs. Get out of the well. Line it with your top of your dog so they release and release your foot. And there you have it.